Sissy and today I have my favorites, finds and maybe fails of July for you. And it's a little bit makeup and it is body cosmetic and other stuff. And all my favorites, finds or fails are always cruelty free. Of course, in my favorites is the Naked Smokey that I got from gorgeous Melissa. Make sure you check out her channel, I link her below. What a beautiful, beautiful palette. I made a in-depth review about it. If you want to see it, I'm going to link it up there. I'm wearing today brown colors out of this palette so you can go very natural with this palette too and this is the amazing thing about the Naked Smoke. You can create natural looks for the day but make it real smoking hot for the night and I'm just wearing these brown colors with that one and this one I have under my brow bone so you can make it looking really natural and pretty. Gotta love this then what I'm really loving and I'm trying now since weeks from Sonia Kashuk nail polish. You get that at Target. I am so, so surprised. These are so good, ladies. These are so great. Go and pick up some. The quality is amazing. This is one I got from Sonia Kashuk too. I got a whole range, but these are two standout colors. I was really enjoying this purple color and this pinky coral color, but I love them all. There was not one loser. They don't chip, they stay forever and uh, they look really shiny like a gel polish. Amazing and they cost around five dollars, so not too expensive. I say go for it, check them out at Target. I tried all five new frozen berries from Bite Beauty. They are amazing, super pigmented and this is my favorite color out of them. This is Juniper, a real nice pink with fuchsia undertones. Gotta love it. Look at the pigments. This is one swipe, amazing. And these have staying power like crazy. You can eat, drink, you will still have gorgeous, gorgeous lips. Love them. And I tried a bunch of makeup from Eddie Funkhauser. One of my favorite items is this bronzer. So, so gorgeous. Like words cannot describe it. So pretty just to look at it. There is a highlighter, there's bronze colors, there's blush, there's everything in and you could even use it as an eyeshadow. Awesome on the travel. I love it so much. And I also love very much the Eddie Funkhauser Looks Like Illuminator, which is, it, it is an highlighter, so don't think it has high coverage concealing if you have real dark under eyes. This is not the one, but if you have only a little something going on under your eyes like I do, this just makes you feel so much awake and I also love to use it as a highlighter for contouring. I have a little contouring video where I use this. I love these items very, very much. I got another lippy and I tried from Butter London the bloody brilliant lip crayons. They are fabulous. They always have already the sharpener in the lid, which is so super convenient. I tried all eight colors, love them all. And super creamy, super smooth, not, not drying or anything. But Trout Pout is my absolute favorite. This is a coral color, so buttery, so summery. I love it, gorgeous color. By the way, seven of the bloody brilliant lip colors you can win right now on my blog. I'm gonna link that giveaway up there. Hop on my blog to win seven of these and that is a value of $140. And I am enjoying very much the Christy Brinkley Recapture 360 Night Cream. 
tried the Christy Brinkley Close Up Treatment and I have a video where I show you where I have a little demonstration how amazing it worked. So I wanted to try more so I got this night cream and it's really beautiful. I have an oily face plus it's super humid. I'm sweating in the night. I don't know what's going on. Why am I sweating that much? But this one is gorgeous. I still need a moisturizer in the night. This is such a lightweight, beautiful, beautiful cream. Goes in super smooth, super silky. Smells gorgeous, fresh and clean and somehow luxurious. So I'm really, really loving it. It is just the right amount of hydration that I need even though I have an oily face but I still need something. If I don't apply anything then my skin just feels very dull and not good and this I really love it. It's really nice. If you're still looking for a good mature cream for the night this one is gorgeous, can recommend it highly. And I tried, and I'm sure I say it wrong, but I'm sure you say it wrong probably too. Okay, Omorovixa? I don't know, I don't even want to say that word because the last part of the word in German means something really weird. But I tried the Peel, which is a two-phase system containing First of a copper cream which you scrub on your face, feels really nice, feels like it's gritty, it has a right amount of grittiness to it so I felt like it really smoothed out my face. But then comes the tricky part. After that you apply the activation copper peel and this is a very, feels like a gel and this will really help get rid of all the dead skin cells. I noticed two days after that my skin looked so super refreshed. I really love this. It has a bit of an awkward metallic scent to it, but I felt like it made such a big difference. I think this can help tremendously making your skin more beautiful. It helps get rid of the dead skin cells because the older we get, the harder it is to get rid of that. So we need to try to activate the skin cell turnover and this will help. What I've been showering with is the Body Shop Peach. I love it and you can see, you can tell, I really love this this month to death. And I also had the body lotion that I did not quite abuse that much because it is so humid that I don't want to have on all the time lotions and stuff. But it smells really like fresh cut peaches. Love the scent. Beautiful. Even my husband always compliments me when I showered with my body shop peach. I gotta pick up a new one. Yeah, ladies. I said I would never ever wear Crocs but here I am having Crocs. When I walk to the pool I notice that it does not help my feet. They get really rough. I get you know bad old skin and I have to treat it constantly. So I was looking for some comfortable shoes that can go wet and where I can walk to the beach to the pool stuff like that. And then I found these. I mean, these are cuter than the normal Crocs for girls. I still would not wear them when I go really somewhere. But for swimming, I think they're cute enough. They are much more comfortable than Crocs. They give me much better support. There is shape inside and it's even feeling massaging. There's a little flower on this side. So I still wouldn't say this is the most fashionable thing, but you know, much better for my feet than flip-flops. And I have a little fail, but it is a book because I just read from Henning Mankell another book and that was The Journey to the End of the World, something like that, and I really enjoyed it, so I thought I'm gonna get another one and I picked up Italian Choose. Gee, was that book boring. I disliked it really a lot. Usually I read every book from start to finish, no matter how dragging and boring it might be. 
but this was just so so boring i cannot recommend it i did not finish it i think i got until about here which is a shame i don't even care for the rest of the story it was so so boring so that did not help me to say hey henning mankell is a good author but i did not like this book and i have unfortunately still another book of him which i haven't read and i'm hoping it might be better than that one so this was all my favorites finds and fails of july i hope you enjoyed it if you did please thumbs up this video let me know in the comments if you have tried any of my favorites do you like them or not or what is your favorite product of the month of july did you ever wear crocs would you consider wearing crocs subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss new videos and see you later ladies bye auf wiedersehen